Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to use the tile list component in Flash. So to get started, I'm going to create an ActionScript 3 document. Then I'm going to go to File, Save As, and save this very quickly so that some of the uh, linkage later on in the ActionScript works correctly. So I'm going to say tile list component. All right, I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to go to Window, Components, and I'm going to drag out the tile list component and also the UI loader component. So for the tile list, I'm going to drag that down to the bottom, and then I'm going to go to Properties and make it 500 pixels by 85 pixels in height. Then I'm going to give it an instance name of tile list. Okay, so I'm going to position that towards the bottom. Then I'm going to grab my UI loader, and I'm going to get the transform tool, put the reference point in the top left, then I'm just going to position this uh, up in the corner and drag it out to about the same width as the tile list. So now that I've done that, I'm going to just position it a little more. All right, and I'm going to give it an instance name now of my loader. All right, so now we're ready to start actually coding this out. So I'm going to open up the actions. And then the first thing we need to do is add some items to our tile list. So I'm going to say add item, or I'm going to say uh, tile list first dot add item and the, the ion item needs to be capital then an open parenthesis open curly bracket then we're going to type label colon two quotes comma space source then um, another colon two more quotes then we need to have a close curly bracket close parenthesis semicolon now inside this label we're going to basically put whatever we want um, for the source, we're going to have an image, and then we want it, whatever we want it to say for that image, we need to put on the label. Um, and that'll show basically we're going to have four images in our tile list, and then at the bottom of each little image, there's going to be a space for that label to display. So we're going to type in the label there. So we're going to say um, snow for this one because that's what's in the picture. And then the source on this one, um, I have it on my desktop, and then we're going to say stock photos slash snow.jpg. All right, um, for the source, I have mine on my desktop, but you can actually have a link from online if you wanted to link it to the uh, JPEG online. You could do that, but I'm just doing uh, it from my desktop. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that's also an option. So I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to paste it three times for each image. Then for this one, I'm just going to say tiger. Then for this one, peer. And for this one, hiker. I'm going to make sure that these correspond with that. Hiker, Peer, and then Tiger. All right, so now I have that done. Um, the next thing we need to do is actually set the column height and or the column width and the row height and the amount of columns and rows. So we're going to first um, just hit enter a couple times and then we say tile list dot column height or column width. Sorry, column width, and that's with a capital W space equals space and then we're going to make it 125 and the reason we're making it 125 is because we made our tile list 500 pixels wide and 500 divided by the four images is going to give us 125 so for the height we just need to make it the same height um, as the object in the first place because we're only having one row so we can say tile list dot row height space equals space and then 85 semicolon. Now we need to basically say how many rows and columns we're going to have. So we're going to say tile list dot column count and the count, um, the C on count is capital. Space equals space and then we're going to have four semicolon and then I'm just going to copy that. <coughs> Paste it on the next line and um, we need to say row count rather than column count there and we need to have one row. So we're going to have four going up and down and then one uh, horizontally. So I'm just going to do control test movie so that you can see what we have so far. And as you can see here, I was um, how I was trying to tell you about the label. Um, that's where it displays on the bottom like third of the tile. Uh, it'll show a little overlay and it'll put the label there. And you can see each of the images in there. So what we're going to do next is have it so that when I click on any of these images, it's going to show an image up here within the UI loader. It's going to take the image instead of scaling it super small, we're going to scale it to the size of that and we're going to have it as a larger image so we make it a little image gallery. So we're going to close that up and the first thing we need to do is get the image. So we're going to say, um, we're going to start with some variables. So var space img url 
colon, and then string with a capital S, space equals space, a couple of quotes, and a semicolon. Inside the quotes, we need to have the link of our first image. So basically, we're just going to have it display one image on screen before anybody clicks anything so that there's something showing there so that it kind of looks like a gallery. So I'm just going to grab that um, URL there because we already had it up there. And that's going to load that into image URL. So now we need to request that. So we're going to say var, we'll call it my request, colon, URL request. And then space equals space, new, I'm just going to copy this, new URL request, open parenthesis, and then we want it to be the uh, URL right here, so it's going to be IMG URL that we already made, close parenthesis, semicolon. Now we need to make sure that the content is scaling within the loader so that we don't have it um, outrageously large, so we're going to say my loader dot scale content. And we want the C on content to be um, capital, space equals space, true. And then a semicolon. And then next we need to load in um, the stuff that we had from our variables so that it, um, it basically connects it to the loader. So we're going to say my loader dot load, open parenthesis, my request. And then close parenthesis, semicolon. All right, so now what we need to do is set up an event listener so that whenever anybody clicks one of the items from our tile list, it's going to change the image that's within the UI loader. So I'm going to enter a couple times. We're going to say um, tile list dot add event listener. And then open parenthesis, it's going to be an event dot change. And it's in all caps. And then we need a comma. And then we need to come up with a function name. And I'm just going to say photo select. That makes sense. And then a close parenthesis, semicolon. So now we need to write that function. So I'm going to say function. Oh my gosh, function. All right, space. And then we need to say photo select. Space, open parenthesis, it's an event, colon, it's an event with a capital E. Close parenthesis, colon, void, open curly bracket, enter a couple times, close curly bracket, up arrow key. So now inside of this, we want to basically have all of this stuff. I'm just going to copy this and paste this. And the only thing that's going to change is where um, the image is coming from. So instead of getting the string from this one, um, we're going to change basically that line only. The rest of it should work as long as we still make it uh, image. Actually, let me just, let's get that back and we'll keep half of that. So we want um, variable image URL colon string equals and then after the equals, we want to get the source of the selected item. So we're going to say tile list dot selected item, and the ion item is capital, and then dot source. All right, and then a semicolon. So instead of um, having it pick that one, we're going to have it pick uh, the source of the selected item. And as you can remember from up here, we have all these sources. So whenever it clicks one, it's going to say, oh, bam. They wanted the tiger source, so we're going to load that into the image URL. It's going to load that in. It's going to scale it, and then it's going to load it into the uh, UI loader right here. So it's just basically going to get the source instead of um, from what we set it to um, from whatever is clicked. So we're going to do control test movie and test this out. All right, as you can see, it's showing the first one, so that's good. And then when we click on one, it's going to change. So you can see we can go through these and it'll scale them up depending on uh, the original proportions. It'll change them a little bit. Um, so you can see that that's working appropriately. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. hope you learned a little bit about the tile list and also the UI loader. I'm still going to have a tutorial on that. Um, it's actually the next tutorial. Um, so don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And uh, check back tomorrow for that UI loader component tutorial. Thanks.